Welcome to America Trends, America. Let's kick it off with what's trending today. What a wild news day. The DNC kicked off today with the most bizarre of beginnings. DNC chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz was not on the podium. In her place came a major apology from her last minute replacement. Quote, on behalf of everyone at the DNC, we want to offer a deep and sincere apology to Senator Sanders, his supporters, and the entire Democratic Party for the inexcusable remarks made over email, unquote. Incoming interim DNC chair Donna Brazil said in a statement, quote, those comments do not reflect the values of the DNC or our steadfast commitment to neutrality during the nominating process, unquote. Wasserman Schultz was initially supposed to gavel the convention into session, but that was changed just before it started. Sanders supporters were char- chanting, Bernie, Bernie, during the invocation. They booed when the convention chair, uh, Marsha Fudge, mentioned Clinton's name as well as that of her running mate, Tim Kaine. Here's the news, and here's why. WikiLeaks released 20,000 emails on Friday from major DNC officials exchanged from January 15 through May 2016. Several emails released show that although the DNC was supposed to remain neutral during the primary contest, officials grew increasingly disenchanted with Bernie Sanders and his campaign and at some points even floated ideas about how to undermine his candidacy. The source of the leak has not been revealed yet. Hillary's campaign manager, Robbie Mook, said on ABC he believes the Russians were behind it. Experts are telling us that Russian state actors broke into the DNC, took these emails, and are now leaking them out through websites, he said yesterday. And he said it's troubling that some experts are now telling us this was done with, by the Russians to help Donald Trump get elected. Seriously? Are you kidding me? The Russian government wants Trump to be president because they're afraid of Hillary Clinton? This could be the biggest deflection in recent political history. Regardless of who's behind the leak, the fallout for the DNC has been severe. Just one day before the convention was set to begin, Wasserman Schultz announced her resignation effective this week. And as expected, Sanders supporters, hundreds of whom are delegates at the convention, are furious about the content of these emails. Lots of damaging emails. For example, Wasserman Schultz and one calls Sanders campaign manager an a-hole, fill in the blanks, and a liar. In May, the the Nevada Democratic Convention became rowdy and got out of hand in a fight, and when Weaver went on CNN and denied any violence, Wasserman Schultz said when she was notified, he's a damn liar. He's scummy. He never acknowledges violent and threatening behavior had occurred. In another instance, right before the Nevada convention, Weaver publicly commented, I think we should go to the convention. And the chairwoman flagged this comment. He's an a-hole. Wow. Second, somebody said that they should highlight Sanders' faith. Maybe he was an atheist, even though he said he's not. It was mentioned during the primaries that would be a great way to undermine support for him, right? So they were going to take that out. What else? Later, numerous emails were, were caught regarding his, his uh, staff, regarding how they treated each other, regarding how they would be treated to other peeps. They were wondering if a good Bernie narrative for a story might be that Bernie never had his act together. Oh my gosh, it goes on and on and on, and they're blaming the Russians instead of taking responsibility for the fact they wanted Clinton, they didn't want Sanders. We're going to talk about this later in the show. Go vote in our poll. Really, did the fix get put in? Did they want Sanders so badly out that it was all about Hillary from the very beginning? Go vote. Come back. We've got some great guests for you tonight. Stay tuned, America. America.